Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Agriculture Makes Strong. Today let us discuss about the important topic about the cotton, uh, what are the pests of the cotton and symptoms and the management of the uh, cotton. We will pest and uh, what are the symptoms of the pest and management uh, seen in the cotton. We will be discussing in detail in this video. If you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Before going to see about what are the symptoms and management of the pest of the cotton, we will discuss what are the pest and major pest of the cotton one by one. First one is like fruit borer, second is pink bollworm, spotted bollworms, shoot weevil, leaf roller, tobacco cutworm, leaf hopper, cotton aphid, white fly, red cotton bug, dusky cotton bug, melly bugs. These are the some of the important pests we will be seeing in the crop cotton. Coming to the pink bollworm which is very important pest in the crop cotton and uh, we can say that scientifically pectinophora gossypillae and the major symptoms of the pink bollworm or you can observe that the major symptoms due to the pink bollworm in the cotton crop is like rosette format and uh, rosette format of the flowers and excreta absorbed at the bore holes by the larval feeding and uh, uh, in the buds condition they attack the buds and immature bowls and they make the immature bowls drop off and you if you see the condition of the seeds, the uh, condition of the seeds will be doubled and discoloration of the lint will also happen due to the pink bollworm which is a major pest in the cotton. And coming to the management, uh, you can uh, spray the phospholine at the concentration of 35% EC 2000 m per hectare or triazophos 40 EC 2.5 per hectare. And uh, this is the, here you can observe the images that here uh, this is the young larva which of the pink worm, pink bollworm and this is adult it appears like this and coming to the next pest of the cotton that is the food uh, fruit borer that is helcovarpa armigera it is also very important pest because it causes major loss to the crop and here in this image you can see the how the pest uh, has been physically on the crop and uh, for this fruit borer uh, you can have uh, like management practices like cultural practices biological control chemical control in the cultural practices if we grow the intercrop or the border crop like uh, the intercrop or border crop should be taken like green gram black gram or soya bean castor sorghum along with the cotton it will reduce the pest control infestation due to uh, as we keep the winter crop between the uh, winter crop or the border crop between the cotton uh, it will attract more pests and the uh, the major uh, crop will be benefited and coming to the biological control we have the bacillus thuringiensis and chemical control avoid a combination of insects as a tank mix and hand compression sprayers knapsack sprayers and mist blower will be uh, available for the chemical control for the fruit borer coming to the next pest we will be discussing that the sp spotted bollworms these are also very important pest in the cotton and the major symptoms of the spotted bollworms is like drying drooping of terminal shoots and uh, during the pre-flowering stage shedding of the young bowls young bowl for formation stage holes on the bowls and rotting of the bowls uh, these are the symptoms of the spotted bollworms and you can see the management like here uh, the management of the spotted bollworms like you can spray one of these like uh, you can spray the carboryl or the indo indoxocarp uh, as given the concentration here you can spray for the spotted bollworms and coming to the next one that is the cotton stem weevil here the symptoms will be like you can see the symptoms of the crop like swelling on the stem just above the ground level and the end plants are uh, will be killed invariably and the older plants will survive and lack uh, vigor and the strength breakness at the knots here you can see the breakness of the knots and uh, due to the strong winds will be happening and uh, these are the symptoms like due to this cotton stem we will here this is the image you can see the cotton stem we will how it appears and these are the symptoms of the cotton stem we will how it is the uh, 
how it is ma making the damage to the crop plant and the major management practices will be like uh, we can apply the basal application of FIM at 25 tons per hectare and 25 kg per hectare of the neem cake and we can spray any one of the following will be like carboryl and the carbofuran with any concentrations here you can see and you can uh, spray any one of them only and coming to the next one that is the stem shoot uh, shoot we will where we can see it is the grabbing the shoot and eating the shoot and terminal shoots with the galls bore the hole surrounded the, the raised margins here you can see you can see the stem uh, shoot we will how it is uh, eating and uh, boring the holes and the major management will be like the basal application of FIM at the 25 tons per hectare is the recommender for the shoot bevel. And coming to the next phase that is the leaf, leaf roller. Here in the leaf roller it is uh, making the leaves rolled in the form and uh, making the marginal portions of the leaves will be eaten. And defoliation of the plants in, is the severe attack of the leaf roller. Leaf roller is the uh, very uh, making the damage to the leaves and uh, the management of the leaf roller will be like collection and destruction of the shedded plants hand picking and destruction of the grown up caterpillars and here in this image you can see the uh, leaf roller uh, larva and infested plants these are the symptoms due to this larva these are the symptoms appeared in the crop due to leaf roller and coming to the tobacco cutworm what are the symptoms due to tobacco cutworm? Tobacco cutworm is very uh, important one uh, which is making the holes. Here you can see the symptom like the uh, here the adult one which is uh, grabbing and scrapping the epidermal layer and uh, the skeleton of the veins can be seen in the uh, leaf structure and the larva feeds on the leaves by making small holes this is the symptoms of the tobacco cutworm for any crop not only for the cotton but also for the other crops also if you see like this type of holes this is the symptom of the tobacco cutworm and the major management will be like castor border and remove egg masses in castor and cotton crops or uh, you can spray the chlorofiriphos at 20 EC. And coming to the next one that is the leaf hopper. If uh, now we will see the symptoms and management of the leaf hopper. The leaf hopper you can see that the tender leaves becoming yellow. Here you can see that the uh, leaves how the leaves are becoming yellow and the margins of the leaves started curling. Here this this is the symptom you can see uh, the uh, margins are curling and margins crumble into pieces when crushed. Uh, here you can see the margins how they appeared and if we touch it we, it will be scrambled and uh, the leaves dry shed and the crop growth gets retarded due to the less uh, uh, leaf vegetative growth and the hopper burn uh, symptom also appears due to the leaf hopper and the management will be like imidacloprid, phosphorylene according to the uh, any one of this you can be applying to the crop and uh, this is the concentration of the uh, management and coming to the cotton aphids uh, cotton aphids are common pest in all the uh, major crops and uh, in this cotton also it is the major one and you can see the symptoms here how it is making the tender shoots infested and the surface or curling and here you can see the uh, stunted grow stunted growth and uh, blighted appearance black sooty mold due to excretion of honeydew and this is the one which is you can see the white appearance on the leaf uh, beneath the leaf and this is the symptom of the cotton aphids and the management of the cotton aphids will be you can spray any like uh, imidacloprid or astamiprid any one of this you can uh, apply spray and coming to the thrips uh, thrips also is a common pest in all the crops uh, you can see the symptoms like shriveling of the leaves due to scrapping of the leaves and silver silvery shine on the underneath of the surface of the leaves here here you can see that uh, silvery appearance silvery shine and uh, the management will be like seed treatment with imidacloprid and coming to the
white fly white fly is the uh, like bemisia tabaceae uh, you can see that uh, here the white appearance chlorotic leaves will be seen yellowing of the leaves will be seen and the tissues uh, which will extend from veins to outer clocks edges of the leaves the yellowing of yellowing will be appearing and shedding of the buds balls and poor balls uh, opening due to the white fly in the cotton crop and sooty mold also appeared in due to the white fly and transmits the leaf curl virus disease of the cotton and the management of the white fly will be like uh, he, these are the symptoms you can see you can observe in this images like uh, we we what are the symptoms and it is clear that how the aphids are um, infesting the leaf and what is the management of the aphids will be like asta astamaprid and uh, chloropyrifos neem cake kernel uh, seed kernel extract we can apply any one of this for the management of the white flies and coming to the next coming to the red cotton bug uh, we can see the symptoms uh, the lint is very important in the cotton and uh, the lint uh, you hear due to the red cotton bug the lint red stained lint will be seen and rotting of the poles and end balls will be avoiding and uh, which turns to dark brown color and due to the bacteria like nematosporo gossypii enters the site of the injury and stains the fiber due to the red cotton bug the stain will be happening in the lint that is red color and coming to the dusky cotton bug due to this some of the symptoms due to dusky cotton bug is like uh, it sucks the sap and also uh, from the developing seeds in the open bowls it is directly sucking the sap from the bowls and stains the lint black it stains dusky dusky cotton bug stains black color and red uh, red one will be red stains will be happening and the seed discoloration and the shrunken will be seen due to the dusky cotton bug what is the management it will be like spraying phosphomedon and uh, phosphomedon with uh, 40 sl 600 ml per hectare is recommended for the dusky uh, management of dusky cotton bug and coming to the last one that is the mele bugs here you can see the symptoms how the mele bugs has been occurring in the crop cotton and the symptoms will be like heavy clustering here you can see that heavy clustering is happening of mealy bugs and uh, it is eating like uh, the stem and excretion uh, amount of honey dew on the which the fungus sooty mold will be growing and affected plants appear like sick and the black resulting reducing the fruiting capacity uh, here you can see the this is the mealy bugs infestation to the crop cotton and the management will be like we can remove the alternate weeds host and monitor the incidence regular, regularly and look for the crawler emergence and uh, we can maintain like take up the management at initial stage to get the maximum control these are the uh, some of the major pest which uh, we can study about the pest of the cotton and symptoms and management this is about the video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel agriculture make strong thank you